What's going on you guys? It's your boy Matt Thomas, it's your boy Royalty, and I brought you guys here today to let you know thank you. Thank you for shouting me out about everything from ESPN to Sports Center. I'm from New York too. What part? I'm from Buffalo. Oh now I'm from the, the city. Oh, yeah, I'm from the city. You from the state. Um, it was a very big deal. Uh, I'm not gonna like sweep it under the rug like I don't care. Uh, I took a couple of days after, you know, just to soak it up, just to, you know, sit in the moment and uh, just be thankful for it. You know, just to know that I flew out and was able to test my talents against other competition, you know, just to play and, um, you know, see that it was fun. Like I said, the only New York that we recognize and we represent is New York City. You know, that's just where I'm from. That's where I'm born and raised. And, you know, that's who I am. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. You know, like I said, it's your boy Matt Thomas. Uh, stay tuned to this video. All right. The number today is 18, a number most of us yearn to reach as it brings us into adulthood. It might not seem like a big deal to most. But 18 for me, it's different, as it is estimated that 18 million people live in New York City alone. This strive for greatness isn't only self-derived, but it was once dreamt upon. One maybe seem like a small number, but it's a start to continuous growth. One word, one step, one choice can be the first day of your last excuse. I'm not a YouTuber. I don't just play basketball. I'm not just my blonde hair or tattoos. I'm a living image that if you negate all negativity and believe in yourself blindly and consistently, you can do anything you put your mind to. Y'all see I'm trying to get down with the Boys Life East Coast joint? You know, see what I mean? They gotta, they gotta show your boy some love, man. Holla at me, man. You feel me? But on a different vibe, uh, bringing you guys to the gym with me today. Uh, to one of my pro runs, but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna link up with my pro trainer. That trained me for Germany, that trained me for Dominican Republic. Currently right now, you know, like I said, my whole perception and everything that I'm trying to do is get back in shape, you know, with the supplements, with the water, with the losing the weight and stuff like that. I'm trying to really get back into the groove of things. So I'm bringing you guys along with me. Appreciate you guys for tapping in. Don't mind my hair. Ugh, we'll be back, LA vibes. But yeah, that's just the whole ordeal I'm telling you guys. I'm trying to get there a little bit early, get warmed up. And let's, let's get it done, let's get it done. I'm gonna show you guys a, a big, big part of, of how I stay in shape. Now my trainer, he does not take it easy on me. I'm I promise you, like he really kills me in, in certain things. Um, I'll probably talk to you guys a little bit more when I get to the gym, but for the most part, let's get it done. What do you want to get into? Come up curl shot. Screen and roll is one thing I need to work on. So that's okay. one big thing, um, I come off too wide. Besides that, you know, just consistency. Everything about consistency. All right, um, you want to go screen and roll. You want them to screen or you want to use a cone? I can use a cone. They can, they can defend off of it. It don't matter. Cool. It doesn't matter to you about that. So... Hey, there you go. Yeah, shoot some free throws or something. Do something sexy. Quicker. Locate it. Know where you at. Don't make it repetitious. That that there's no no variation in it. Good. Move it down. Basically, basically all you're doing, pretty much just touching the wall, coming off of this. When you get the ball here, shot fake, little baby jab, rip, put a real soft jump shot right here. Real simple. Coming off of here, boom, shot fake, baby jab, good. Get right up in there and pull up that jump shot. Same thing on both sides. Get five shots over here. Being a small offense, you know he's trying to take away this area. You get him to drop back a little bit and then a rip. Same thing that we've seen on the video. You want him to get in your area because you have the advantage because you know where you're going. I'll be the passer. Set him up, boy. Let's 
coming early. Set him. Good. Let's see him react. Let's make him react. Good. Jab steps to the middle. Force him off. Tight. And keep him in his area. Force him not to drive on you. Makes you a better defender. So when he gets there, you just hold him there. Boom. He's sticking you, Matt, to keep you away from, put, from, from driving. So you stuck with your step back, your side step. You have either option, but he's not going to give you the lane. Let's go. Wood. Remember what I said, leave that hand up. You gotta leave that hand up because you're falling back. You gotta draw the foul. It's up. See where you at with him? Good. That's good. Use that jab step. Let's go. Good. Don't force anything that's not gonna work for you. You, you, you don't get a drive, okay. but don't force a shot that's taking you away from the basket that you have no opportunity to make. Be patient. Be patient. That's the first shot that you're looking for because you got there early. Biggest thing when he comes out, you're coming out. Boom, we get it. Jab step to the middle. Look, a little shot fake. Got the step back. Jab step to the middle. Boom, hit him. Side step. You know what I'm saying? Even if you got to go side step to go back through the legs, you just want to create the space. You want to put him in a situation where he's stuck with you, and then you manipulate him from there. Sit on your D. Jab step middle, good. Space, very good. Jab step middle, force him away. Good. Good beat to the basket. You ain't gonna kill him, you just wanna let him know. Space is gonna be created regardless. Easy catch to shoot. I want that hand up. Don't pick up bad defensive habits. I'm not worried about you blocking the shot, I just wanna see your hand up. Jab step. Go jab step, see what he does. See what he does. Don't settle. My head, boom, I got you, right? Jab step here. You understand? That's you here. Jab step hard. Jab, shoulder, shoulder, jab step hard. Little shot fake, then let it go. What you seen on the vid? Exact same thing on the video. The video is all based about patience. There's no rushing in what he's doing. It's about patience. I got 24 seconds on the shot clock, but eight of them belong to me because that's why they gave me the ball. Because they know when I got it, I'm good for eight. If I need to use five to create what I need, use a five. Okay. So what? So you got eight, but if you can get it short of Right. You want to try to get it done in five, but you have eight out of 24. Remember, there's really not a whole 24, because once you get it across half, it's 16, right. 17. So you still getting eight out of 17? That's how much they trust you? So you really got to work in five. Get out there, boy. Good. There we go. Oh! Why, why you miss? Why you miss? No. You had him, and then you double checked it. You had him. Just get up, let it go. Let's go. Get out there. Good, good, good. See, so you got the space. Yo. Take the ball. This is your, this is where you at. This is where you at. This is where you at. You understand? This is where you at. See how you moving my arm? This is where you at. This is where you at. You understand? That's what you're looking to do to him. You understand? You want this one, and you want over the top. So if my hand is here, rip that, get that hand out of there. Boom. Ah, right, now I'm out of there. You understand what I'm saying? Get me the That's what I'm looking for you to do. Good. It's right there for you. Good. Leave it up. Don't worry about misses. Worry about if what you did was right. Good, good. That's what you're waiting on. Good. Set your arms out. Good. Good little baby hook. Ball's good. Get that arm out. Move his arm. 
Oh, see what happens? See what happens? He's at your disadvantage because you know what you want to do. He don't. He has to react to what might happen. But you always know what you want to do. When that arm comes out, be patient, move his arm out the way, set everything up. Don't just be stagnant with the same shit. Let's go. It's coming up early. Arms out, good. I'll take that. Close out better. Close out better. This works on your defense as well. You don't think this is I got one, I ain't gonna get two. Let's go. I ain't gonna get two of them. Start at the foul line, Matt. You playing him. You popping up to the ball. Give him a little room, but know that it's coming. Okay, I'm going right over here. Start at the foul line. All right, he move, you move. You go where you want to go. That's where you want it? Okay. Where's arm at? Where's arm at? Let me toughen him up by toughening you up. When you closing out to that, choppy. You understand what I'm saying? Choppy. We ain't gonna come all the way out. He's just gonna, ah, 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 ah. Seal him, seal him, seal him, seal him. There we go, good, good. Don't settle. Like, don't do that? Like, don't, don't settle. Don't settle. Let's go. Good. Swim, swim. Good. That's the shot you can make. Now you know you got him on that shot. Yo, I'm in the gym. I'm in the gym. It should be right there. Back up. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. Where's hands at? Good. Step back. That's a makeup shot, baby. That's a makeup shot. Got him here. Where's hands at? Where's hands at? Copy. You understand? Where's hands at? You know, all that fly shit. Where's hands at? Where's he at? Where's hands at? Where's his balance at? What's his footwork look like? Is he this way? Is he even? Is he opposite? What's it look like? Then you make your decision on what you want to do. That should take you no more than three seconds. Let's go. Where's hands at? Good. They high. Oh, got him. Go to the basket. Once you got him, you go. Just go. Good. Turn, turn. Foul line. Good, 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 good. Turn, turn him. Don't settle. Turn, good, good. Here we go. From this point on, you get a stop. Matt owe you five push-ups. Get a stop. Yeah, five. Five. Let's go. Where you at? Where you at? Good. Where your hands back at? You got a two points. I don't give a two points. You paid for it though. Good, put good, good, good. Turn the face, jab step. Where's that at? I'll take the easy jump shot. I'll take that. Sometimes you want it. If you're comfortable letting it go, I got no problem with that. But if you catch it and you don't feel it right then and there, you gotta go into back up. Back him up. Here we go. Now let's go. Stop making it easy. Take an easy ass layup. Six eight ain't gonna let you in there. It's coming here, it's coming here. Turn and face, good. Look at the spacing you got. That's automatic. You got three feet worth of space, there's nothing to think about. Go on, good, good. You gotta close out. You gotta close out, what I said. You gotta close out. Good turn, good. You settled. You didn't want to shoot that. So now, since I hit two in a row, what you want to make them do? Jump. You want to make them work. Yeah. You want to make them work. Because if you had two in a row comfortable, let me see what he, do, what he does when he's uncomfortable. Then you'll be able to make another two in a row. Because he'll never be mentally ready for that. That's not how I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What I'm thinking is, I hit two in a row. 
shoot the shit again. Nah. You hit two in a row, that's sexy. But the third one is to make them have to make a decision on how to guard you. Now, if you blow bottom and get to the basket, what decision do they have? Like, nigga hit two and he just went by me. Like, I'm stuck. Good. Turn it right now. Good. Good. Everything you're doing now is off one dribble pull up. One dribble pull up. Let's go. Everything now is one dribble pull up. You're going to make a move jab. Good. Drop down to the foul line. Drop down to the foul line. Let's go. Good. One dribble pull up. Good jab step. Get him off you. Good. Go the other way. You're going on that side. Let's go. Turn. You got space. Use something. Get it out of there. Two free throws. I have no problem with that. Pay for it if you miss. <laughs> you ain't no fool. Very good. Start from one side of the box. I feel nasty. You all right. You understand? Ah, you know, shot face, step back. You know what I'm saying? All this little extra right up in here. You're coming right off the box, curl. Steal him. Turn him. Jab. That's when it's not. You got to use it. Early with the jab. Early. As soon as you come off and you pop. Walk him. You pop. See? See? See how you had it. You had the jab if you wanted it. But because you got in position, you was able to get your shot off. Good, good, good. Yeah, there we go. Good. Close out high. Close out high. Get as close to him as you possibly can without making a foul. Ah, uh -uh, go under the box. That's the area you go into. Go under the box. Just for footwork. Go to the box. Boom, now you pop. Good. That's when you use your jab step. You see what I'm saying? Because once you came up under it, and you float it, and you come right here, you got him. You got him in your pocket. You can elevate right now. So if you use a shot fake and he moves, you can go. If you use a shot fake and he closes, you can step back. You still got a live dribble to go wherever you want. You understand? So you walk him. You, don't, you shouldn't work that hard right there. Because you know what you want to do. You just trying to get to your area. Good. Okay, you took, the e you took the easy route and blew the layup. You took the easy route and blew the layup. What's up, right? Nice and simple slide in front of him. Nice quick release. Walk him, walk him. Good. Use your jab step. I'll take that. You want to get out. <laughs> I ain't bad at you. Let's go. Walk him and curl it. You slow the curl. Good shot, but you slow the curl. You walking him. I want it. I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? You walking him. Boom. If he's going to trail with you, you're going to get up in here. Ah. Get up out of, you know what I'm saying? You want him to be on your hip. You want him there. Then he's done. There we go. Good. Keep it simple. Good layup. Walking him down. Show me your hand. There we go. There we go. Very good. Show me a hand. Good. Good. Be strong with the ball. Come on. Ball in control. Move on. There we go. Where should you really win? This way. You understand? They're going to rotate here. 
It's gonna rotate here. You good? You good? Ain't nothing wrong with you. 20. 52. <laughs> That's good. You need to be on your toes. Dig what I'm saying? Walking on your toes. You need to be on your heels. Walking on your heels. It's a hundred of each one of them every day. Every day, bro. Every Yeah, a hundred steps. Every day, man. That's Judah. That's big boy. You gotta do that shit. It's relaxing too. Relax your nerves. Go hit me some free throws. And we're gonna try to go full court. Yo, defenders. Your number one job is to step in his area. Don't reach. I don't wanna fucking steal. I don't need none of that shit. I need you to make it difficult for him to get from one side to the other. That's it. It's containment. Look at Netflix. Containment. Here we go. Slide. Relax. There we go. Where you at? You want to watch it? So you got, you know what I'm saying? That's all you worried about. It's work. That's all you concerned with. Ball's live. Pace it. It's... Rotate. Hell, no. Good D, good D. On that side. Him, work him like a part-time job. Bring it strong, good. Pause, there we go, there we go. Get out of there. Good. Now it's a pull up. Now it's a pull up. That works. That's what's gonna actually happen. The mentality of this drill is how difficult is it to hit a mid range with on you. This is, um, 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 what's the name? The big tall mother, uh, Durant's drill. This is Durant's drill. The whole catch with Durant's drill, a third person is added on. Durant has to beat him full court, has to beat the double team, and then has to beat the defender. So that's why when Durant gets in these certain areas, he's just pulling up on a dime because it's like, I'm not doing all that extra. <laughs> Y'all laughing, the bitch got bitches, got gravy. <laughs> The wait! Oh, I hate this yeah, it's stupid. It was fun. You know, it reminded me of uh, back in the day when we used to do a lot of things. Um, patience. Patience is a, is a key. Understanding why we do certain things and not, again, rushing. You know, taking what the defense gives you. You know, overall. I think he needs to be in a little better shape, but I can deal with that. And a little better shape means, you know, just your win, your win. Because when you're doing things like this, it has so much to do with how many reps can you do. If you can do 10 reps, that's okay. If you can do 100 reps, that's great. 100 reps gives you more opportunity to learn, more opportunity just to get better and, and, a, and a stronger continuity with what you're trying to accomplish. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the process. Um, in certain situations, you know, kind of push yourself. When you miss two or three shots in a row, go, you know, make a free throw or run a suicide or something. Exhaust yourself in order to be great. Because when you can play when you're tired or you can do anything in life when you're tired, you're really good at it. But Matt, how many years since the last I had you? Since the last time you had you? Yeah. Maybe like five? Five. Five. Wow. Wow. Is he just as good now? No, actually, in all actuality, I think Matt's a lot better. I think he's a lot better than what he was. He got me back-to-back -back MVP in Germany. I, I think he's a lot better. It's just it's patience. It's patience because in this game, you get frustrated. You know, you want things to happen overnight, and nothing ever happens overnight. Man, that was, that was tough. That was tough. What's going on, you guys? Just sent you a workout. Copy, copy, copy. Um, as you can see, killed me, killed me. You know, I'm not, I'm not where I want to be at as far as in shape. Um, definitely a tough task, but the objective is to be where I need to be at in the next 30 days. Um, it's easy to go out to these random parks or come to the gyms and, you know, kill a competition because they're not working as hard. You know, they're not, they're not hooping. But playing against real hoopers, you guys know that, you know, I got to be ready for that. So. But you guys see me go back out to Jersey, playing against the Filets, you know, playing against the Free Goods, playing against Cali's, whoever it is. You know, I got to make sure I'm in shape, ready for those games. You know, you guys won't catch me slacking again. So, you see any drills that you like, man, take them. 
Comment down below what you think. Comment down below what you think I should do more of. How to get in shape. If you guys want to get in shape with me, you can do it together, all right? It's your boy Matt Thomas, your boy Royalty. This is what they don't see.